Well, good morning, everybody out there in YouTube. It is me again reporting in. Had a bit of a disaster today. We went for breakfast and uh, Fox wasn't very well. The place was filled up with people, over brimming, and Fox, well, he it was projectile, he, it was projectile everywhere, and I mean everywhere. And you know, there were people queuing, there were people sitting around us eating. I feel sorry for them because it wasn't the best entertainment. And I guess they hadn't booked in for that when they booked in for breakfast. But anyway, we are here. It is Sunday morning. We're I'm starting my vlog from where I normally start my vlog from, which is obviously in the hotel room. And um, we're going out today. We're going out to the Brecon Beacons. And we are going up to a steam railway, which myself, I'm hoping it will make Fox a little bit chipper. It will cheer him up somewhat. It will definitely make me chipper and cheer me up because it's a steam railway with beautiful views. And let's face it, that's what I've been waiting for, haven't I? I mean, the Science Museum's great. Um, the journey down in the house was fantastic on Friday. Um, but steam railway, does it top it all? I don't know. That house was very cool. Um, but if it doesn't top it all, it comes a very close second. But this is what I have been waiting for. This is my, um, what, you, what would you call it? My, no, it's not one of those. That was Fox sneezing, bless you. This is my, what would you call it? My, no, my uh, best thing. For want of a, other words, I can't find to describe it. And no matter what words I used or how lyrical I waxed, I would never do it justice. Because, uh, you know, it's a steam railway in a beautiful environment. So, yeah, it's all go, systems go. So follow us today. Fox has got the snizzles as well. Uh, don't you dare throw it up in here. Are you done? Are there any more <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, so, yes, so we're on our way out. We will, hopefully, in between throwing up, we will speak to you later. Do you know what the problem is? Hazel got a curry last night. Don't think the curry that they got for Fox agreed with him. So, um bit wussy really because you know you think of stuff I eat and he can't even eat your korma but anyway never mind we'll have to toughen him up I'm going to start him out on a vindaloo next week see how that pans out <laughs> right okay so I will speak to you a little later stay with us guys see you in a bit bye right we've arrived are you looking forward to this Willow apparently she doesn't feel very well oh dear seems to be something that's in the it seems to be taking root in the Winters household, this bug, I don't know. Hopefully it's going to bypass me and Hazel, we shall see. But we are at the uh, Brecon Beacon Railway now. We're just about to get out and see what fun we can have. Can't park here. Hazel says she can't park here. She's got us lost, she can't park here. It's just going wrong, it's just all going wrong. It's all going wrong. Right, see you in a sec. So as you can see, it's the morning after the night before, the, or the day before the curry day. Everybody's taking their medicine. Fox has already had his. Hazel, should we have some? I don't think help will do a lot for Do you us. not? Okay. No. Um, I, I must admit, I'm, I feel fine. But you know what kids are like? They're dirty and they pick up all sorts of bugs and stuff. But I reckon it was that curry. Mm. They don't fare well with curry, our children, but look at things. They're not like their mother and father, are they? No. At all. Right. Are you all right there? Cool. Well, not to worry much, Willow. We're going to have a fun day today anyway, hopefully. In between the bouts of throwing up, yeah. farting, gurg gurgly <laughs> tummies, and stuck on toilets, we should be having a good day. Right, it's very windy up here, guys. I hope that this wind is not actually whipping away my, my voice or the sound. But as you can see, we're at the Brecon Mountain Railway. We're just going to walk inside now. Ladies and the kids have already gone in. Let's follow suit. Very pretty around here, look. Very beautiful. Hopefully scenery from the railway will be just as stunning. Let's see, shall we? Let's see. Hello kids. Yes, do you want to go for a wee wee box? Let's have a look. To the trains.
<laughs> Willow, why are you so disappointed? Because Mummy said all I get for dinner is one piece of bread and some water. That's I right, bread and water. Well. That's a Victorian diet. That's a good diet, keep you nice and healthy and strong. And everyone else is eating their big roast dinner. Yeah, that's right. Bread that's and water right. for you, roast yeah. dinner for everybody else. Fox needs bread and water. Fox is not getting bread and water. Fox is actually having a big roast dinner. No, you know you're having a roast dinner too, darling. I promise you. Yay! Let's go get that There she is. This is our transport around the Breckens. Let's have a look at her, shall we? She's a little beauty. Have a look at the back. And this is, I don't know how you pronounce that, Pant Station. I don't know how you pronounce it. This is our... This is our travel. And very cute it is too. Steam trains, I love them. Beautiful. Let's get further up the front. I'll take some more photos and video then. There they go. Look at them. Wait for me. Wait for me. Or, or don't. All right there, Willow. How are you feeling now, Willow? How are you feeling, Fox? Fox, how are you? Are you good? Good. Are you all right, Hazel? Good. We're all all right then. You were just travel sick. Yep. Fair enough. That'll do it as well. Lovely carriages. Look at the look at the beautiful woodwork in these carriages. Just stunning. Workmanship, workmanship, people, workmanship, craftsmanship. We are underway. Beautiful. Oh, look at this. Gotta love a railway, people. Gotta love a railway. Oh, that steam. Thing of beauty. Hello everyone, and welcome to the Brecon Mountain Railway. You are quite welcome to ride on the outside balconies of the coaches, as long as the gates remain closed. Any children who wish to ride on the outside must be accompanied by an adult. We hope you enjoyed the journey. Thank you. We've just left. I thought you said enjoy. Yeah. Oh, oh no, it's a bucket. There's a bucket out there. Oh, there's a bucket out there. You can't go out there. It's probably not. There's a lot of people out the back. Go on, go out the back then, kids. Bye bye, Bob. Bye. Shush. There you are. Either way, I love your steak. It tastes like chocolate. Lovely. Oh, you'll sacrifice yourself for that one. Good lad. Yeah. Right there, Hazel. Are you right? Happy? Happy? No, no, how much you love like a steam train. We're only on it because of you. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Thank you. Just stunning. Look at this. Common buzzard. Common buzzard down there. Just missed it. Fantastic. I hope you saw that. It was a common buzzard. Fantastic. Beautiful lake out there. Listen to that. 
that. That is beautiful. Fantastic. Look at that. Oh, it's all right. Don't worry about that. Oh, they're gorgeous. Look at that lake. Massive, it's a great big lake. It is though, it's definitely a lake. You can tell by the shape of it, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Big and wonky, like Auntie Hazel's nose. Right. That's cool, isn't it? That's it, grasp me up. That's it, grasp me up. So, some niche you've turned out to be. No, I didn't. Did she? I heard her. I did not. <laughs> she told me to tell you that that orange. It was, but I said no because I don't want to be Don't worry, I've marked both your cards. Monkey. What's that? I don't know, it's pretty cool. Those carriages that he's built into the ground have turned it into a. Cafe, yeah, oh, cafe or something. Oh, that's, that's very cool. I wonder if we'll have any stops so cool. we can get something to eat. We stop at the other end apparently. So that's oh, it's still at the lake because the lake is I know, it's massive. Look at it, beautiful. Look at that steam. Quite a bit of neck loss. <laughs> I'm a double chinner, treble chinner is monstrous. Look at that, now the kids have left me, it's all nice and quiet. Only joking, lovely. I've said it before, ladies, if you want to get the right man, get some perfume that smells of steam. Guys, look at that, stunning. Look at this tree. Let's go and look at this engine, guys. Let's have a look at this engine.
What an absolute stunner. Really windy up here, guys. Ever so sorry. here this is it we're on the outside now guys hello girls are you all right yes. you enjoying this train ride yeah but it's very cold you look like eskimos what are you doing i should say inuits to be politically correct mm. it's cold out here isn't it yeah beautiful though isn't it we're on the outside yeah carriage we are on the outside of the carriage we can get trying to get some outdoor I'm shots help and, yeah. i'm the health and safety person health and safety person because you've got the big orange jacket I just couldn't uh, come in a second. Of course you can. Easy. Right, we're back again. There was a drama over some lost sunglasses here. Somebody's left them on a bench there. A bit like Dame Edna Everage ones. We're so. having a 15 minute break. We're having a 15 minute break. Well, they turn, they turn the engine around, haven't they? Yeah, so we can look at the views. Yeah, look at these views, guys. Isabel is absolutely right. Look at these views. They are breathtaking. It does. And we make the most of it, don't we? It's been a gorgeous journey up, hasn't it, girls? Yeah. Now are we going to head back, or are we going to keep heading that way? Oh, yeah, I think we're, so we're head back. heading back now. Yeah. So, yeah. See if we can get but views from the outside as opposed to the inside. So let's see. Now, 
bit slower. reminds me of the little train that could. I know I can, I know I can. Something along their minds. Steam building up. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I feel like in a wild west with that engine. I think we're going to move, guys. Here we go. Hey, hold on tight. Bit of a bit of a judder, isn't it? Here we go. Deep joy. Yeah. It doesn't actually. It's just bland, isn't it? The other side, it's just trees. But these valleys and these mountains are gorgeous. And Isabel quite rightly said, that's a reservoir, not a lake, like I said earlier. I got it wrong. Isabel was absolutely right. Absolutely gorgeous. And a caboose, look at this caboose. Look at the ladies coming out. Look at that, I'm not sure you caboose or not, I'm not sure. I wouldn't think so, you never know though. Could be. I'm sorry about this. Come on out, you can give us a little cool water or whatever you want. Donking machine. It does, it reminds me of something from the Old West. 1913, the chap was saying, and that is not an original caboose. It does look like it is, but it's not. It's replica, it's made here. But it looks it looks really authentic. Just two birds. The canteen, the cafe. It's made the, the, do you remember the. Uh, do you remember this was the carriage that was sunk down into the earth outside? So this is obviously the inside bit now, so. Had a canopy that built over it, like a little room. Some authentic seats from the train station. And yeah, let's go have a look, see if we can find places on the side of the uh, canteen carriage. Pretty cool. Not sure what class this is or what year. Yeah, fantastic. Well, I hope you're enjoying the actual um, 
the actual journey. It's really pretty, as you can see, it's lots of stunning area here. As I said earlier, the guy was telling me that the engine itself was 1913, so it's a real sort of old Western style engine. Um, the caboose, as I said, was built at a later date and that was built in England, but it was a direct or exact replica of the one that you would find in the States. So, yeah, so that's really cool. The kids are enjoying it, we're all enjoying it, it's great. I've been outside filming, plenty of fresh air, plenty of beautiful views. It is a real tonic. So, stay with us, and uh, if you like trains, there's plenty more. If you don't, sorry, but there'll be other stuff for you, I'm sure. Speak to you soon. Now, look at this for a train set, guys. How cool is this? Pretty cool, guys. This is the uh, this is sort of subway, the underpath that takes you to the trains. You can see it there. So, a quick, pretty shaped workshop. Now, this is cool. This is the engineering shop, obviously. Got a locomotive up there, a couple, or well, one actually, are doing it up. Very cool. Oh, it's bliss. This is like heaven. Fantastic. Right, well, we are finished for the day. I am all tuckered in, or tuckered up? Yeah. Tuckered out, even. Even tuckered out. Well, I'm tuckered out, and uh, I'm sure. Are you tired, Hazel? I am a bit. You are a bit. I'm what about you, Willow? Are you tired? Willow? It's, yeah, I'm tired. What about you, Fox? You tired? You're tired, absolutely. As I say, we are all tuckered out. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to call an end to this vlog. Uh, I hope you like trains, because I think most of this vlog was trains. Uh, well, one train in particular anyway, and it was all about the steam locomotive, which runs up the, or through the Brecon Valley. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you saw the scenery. We well, did see the scenery, I'm thinking. But I hope you enjoyed the scenery. I hope you... Uh, it's inspired you to maybe come here and have a go at it yourself. It's a beautiful place and um, I will definitely be coming back for another visit to that railway because I found it absolutely fascinating. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to sign off. So Hazel, I'm going to take you by. That's as good as it gets with Hazel, but you know that by now. What about Willow? Do you want to say goodbye, Willow? Do you want to say bye-bye, Fox? That's a bye-bye. And bye-bye from me. I'm sorry about that, son. It is very, very strong. So I'm going to put you up here a bit. So look out for each other. Look after each other. Be there for one another and take jolly good care of each other. You know it makes sense. And I will speak to you in the next vlog. See you soon. In actual fact, the next vlog might be, or vlog rather, might be a spooky one. Seeing as Halloween is 
not much further away than this coming Wednesday. So what we got? We got maybe three days. Um, I might even do a bit of a vlog tomorrow on the travel home if we find something interesting. I don't know. Who knows? It's in the laps of the gods, as they say. But anyway, take it easy, guys, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.